Frank Kapesky here. I'm gonna show you why we use monitors and glue boards to trap American roaches because if you trap them, you control them. And you can also monitor if you're getting control. Check this out. Okay, so we just pulled these out of a kitchen. It's a very old house. It has a lot of entry points that they're not gonna do exclusion. And as you can see, we had these under the stove. That white stuff you see on there is the customer had basically doused underneath the stove with diatomaceous earth and it pay, they picked it up and they got trapped. You can see there's nymphs of all sizes. They're, this is an Australian cockroach also. Uh, it's not the American cockroach. You can see it by the bat eyes in the back of a head, but the control process is the same. And as you can see, there's nymphs uh, that we caught. Here's a nymph in a different size and there's another nymph it's the same roach. We also caught a carpenter ant in there and um, some tiny millipedes. Uh, there you can see that an Uthika has hatched and you can count how many, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So about 16 to 18 I can count that hatched from that Uthika. It looks different than the American cockroach Uthika, but if you see those little notches at the edge of the ridge, usually if you count those, it's pretty accurate to tell you how many would hatch. Uh, they, she just happened to lay the egg, the Uthika there, and it hatched on the board. So you can see what they look like when they're recently hatched. Um, a lot of people think they have German roaches and they got American roaches. And actually, they either have one or the other. Yeah, sometimes they have both, but it's very rare. So there you can see, um, you know, there is another Uthika that hasn't hatched, smaller one. But look at the size of these guys. They're not as big as the American cockroach. They're smaller. Um, they're smaller in size. The American cockroach is much larger. Uh, so that's one of the things. There you go. It's kind of being able to see it and what we have we're looking at it trying to see if it, these are male or females I got to flip them over to really know for sure when I see the Cersei but there you go guys as you can see that using glue board monitors is very effective of not only controlling them because if you catch them the customer never sees it the customer never goes through the experience and this is why we like using it. We can't get 100% control all the time of everything, but using an integrated method of including trapping and monitoring, we can know where the progress is going, how the control is doing. Plus, it also attracts them to that board. We baited that uh, with Niban, Entice 10, and Mother Earth, that kind of mix that we're doing um, to attract the roaches to the board. Hey, this is Frank Kapesky wishing you a spectacular day.